from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English. Ramping Up Your English is for English language learners from all language backgrounds who have already begun the process of learning English as their second language. It's a program for people of all ages. If you're seeking greater English proficiency, this program is designed to help you reach that goal. Ramping Up Your English is a support program for English learners who have already passed the beginning stages of learning English. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher English proficiency. We use English to teach English. The theme of our first unit is Trains and Railroads. This is episode 29, segment one. In our last episode, we arrived in Los Angeles aboard the Southwest Chief, a passenger train Amtrak rescued from the Santa Fe Railroad. The Southwest Chief gave us a great look at the American West, bringing us through the Rocky Mountains at Raton Pass, and passing through the iconic southwest cities of Albuquerque, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Flagstaff, Arizona, all the way to Los Angeles. Today we travel in a place that's even wilder. We head north to Alaska. Hop aboard now for the first part of Alaska Rails. Gosh, it just keeps coming. Spirits were high. It's true that we were leaving Alaska's second largest national park, but we were also beginning a train ride that would take us through some of the wildest country in North America. It would take us in style. People swarmed around the train, waiting for their turn to board. It seems that everyone spoke in a way that was excited, almost manic. We found ourselves passing the time by comparing Tilly hats with other travelers. There was no Cruise West car, but we shared a car with the Princess Cruise folks, and the Cruise West people were there to help make sure we got on. Our Cruise West people came aboard to see to our comfort. We'd have plenty of that and a great view. 
today. Yes, as you all know, my name is Eddie. I will be your boss. We hardly felt ourselves start, but we were moving, easing away from the train station. We were soon looking back at Denali National Park, while the folks in the park were looking at the train. River coming up. We were looking back over the expansive taiga forest, crossing the river that Liz and I had rafted just the day before, and the many hills and mountains around this area. The scenery seemed to only get better the further we pulled out from the train station. Kettle hole. This is a kettle hole, one of many we'd see along the route. These little pockets of water fill holes scooped out by retreating glaciers. Our train had to circle around them, but we were in no hurry. Our train was right where we wanted to be. We crossed the same river, though not the same section, where Liz and I went rafting the day before. We saw a lot of this river while we visited with a landowner from Vermilion Parish in Louisiana. Water and rice farming just seemed to go together, even in talk in the wilds of Alaska. But talk got old, so I went below to the vestibule where there was nothing between me and the fresh Alaskan air. Here I could hear the rumble of the wheels on the rails and the squeaking of the car couplings. The greens were greener as the scenery rumbled by. back, I was reminded that we were near the end of the train. This water is backed up behind a beaver dam, which you can see right here. We pass through some of Alaska's wetlands, provided by the activity of nature's great engineers, beavers. Scraping metal doesn't always make a pleasant sound. It happens most when the train goes around a tight curve. It's the sound of the wheels on the tracks. It could sound like somebody scraping their fingernails on the chalkboard. I moved from the open air back up to the coach where Liz and Charlie were visiting with other passengers. There was no lack of view up here. Rivers turned to lakes, hemmed in by ever-present mountains, scraping the bottoms of these clouds. For a time, we were away from roads or towns. We had wild Alaska to ourselves. The point on the Alaskan Railroad. You're going to see a coal mine coming up and compromise. That's awesome. The train slowed and revealed this crew 
maintaining the tracks. Meanwhile, the passengers in our car kept getting louder and louder as there were more and more drinks served. Here, we met the Alaska Railroad passenger train headed east. We passed it slowly, checking out the passengers through the dome car windows. It's always a moment when you meet the train going the other way. A bit like looking at yourself. Here, we inch past this maintenance train. Soon, we were back on the rails, crossing Alaska. 